and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, black and white Kaya control. It's another example of me trying to build a deck around the new planeswalkers and just really get to analyze whether or not they're good and worth a craft for you at home. So today we're focusing in on Kaya, the intangible slayer. And this deck wins by casting Kaya. The card is very much a one card win con, as it should be if it's a seven mana planeswalker walker that's worth anything at all but it's a hexproof six loyalty card that gets plus two to make each opponent lose three life and gain three life you can also draw two cards for zero then your opponent may scry one they don't have to for some reason the minus three exile target creature or enchantment if it wasn't an aura you make a token that's a copy of it except it's a one one white spirit creature with flying in addition to its other types you take their best thing you turn it into a thing for you and trust me there are plenty of things with sweet dies effects or enters the battlefield effects that are just fine as a one one spirit so yeah is kaya good kaya has some really sweet stats on untapped.gg so far in the best of one format people who are resolving kaya are winning so that is our primary focus today we want to do lots of winning with kaya the intangible slayer i built a black white controlish shell around this just designed to get us into the late game and once there dominate that game some of the cards uh we've seen sheldred's edict around we're running it again as i expect plenty of Planeswalker-ish mirrors because I'm running a good amount of Planeswalkers. We're bringing back Edward, Edgar, the Charmed Groom, who I think is actually a pretty sweet card in this particular deck, because when it dies, you get all of these sweet little one ones, which do a good job defending your Planeswalkers. It's like more wedding announcements. Yay. I'm also running Soul Partition. I really enjoy this card. I think it's better than people are uh, giving it credit for. I don't see it in too many decks, but I love using it to reset my wedding announcement, reset my bank buster reset my wandering emperor bail it out when it's getting attacked and it's a good a good way to save kaya if kaya is finally about to die to attackers because that hex proof is really really good notably absent from the deck are sweepers which i found to struggle in the meta and i'd much rather fight for the board than sweep the board unless i'm playing blue i think blue white and farewell type cards you can totally get away with that but i might try a deck in the future that runs kaya with sweepers around it over here on the sidelines are cards that I cut from the deck but strongly considered, uh, including a sweeper over here, Path of Peril, also go for the throat, Celestis, Sarah Paragon, Gix's Command, the Wander, the Eternal Wanderer, and Vraska. So we could definitely build a more Planeswalker focused deck, but I wanted this one to dial in on Kaya and try to get some conclusions. Is Kaya right for you? Well, check out the games. I will let you know. I am a huge fan so uh still on vacation not gonna do an outro but i will tell you right now you're cool and let's dive in let the intangible slayer nonsense begin on the draw soul partition two wedding announcements that should hold them off another one bites the dust Mm, mm, mm. Another one bites the dust. You waited till this end step for this moment. What are you doing? Nothing, of course. All right. Ah! No! No! Not like this! What? Jin gets axes. Now, CGB, the 
time has come for you and me together in the arena. 130 cards, the prismatic bridge for the Jinyans, for the channel. Jinyans, wrong. You go first. Keep easy. Ben or break? Wow. When your MTG Arena screen name is a pun, like a dad joke of your own name. Let's tell me you're from the 90s without telling me you're from the 90s. Oop. Planes. Let's go. The life of Toshiro Umizawa. And there goes my farmhand. On the bright side, though, we can rebuild it. We don't want to play the wedding announcement because then the life of Tichiro Umizawa Chapter 2 will just kill our 1-1. One -one. Shakedown Heavy. Uh, okay. So, we can get the farmhand. We can also sneak our bankbuster onto the battlefield for free. We can also ramp. I think we just go for, like, we don't have big ramp payoffs here. The bank buster's sitting out there. It's fine. Kind of saves me two mana in a way. I like the idea of getting the farmhand back, though, to help eat invoke despairs. Also get it out of there in case of a trespasser. Trespassers are dangerous. Get that ticking. I think while I'm setting up, I'll give my opponent a card or two for the heavy. It's fine. There's an obliterator. That's why we didn't just use the soul partition. They're definitely capable of scarier stuff. More weddings. More. Another one? At least it's not Invoke Despair. They might have spot removal to make this a bad, bad situation. And I'm still at 20. I think I just take it this turn. set back the obliterator. These are so much more dangerous once the wedding announcements flip, and we can draw cards this turn. Well, ho oh, ho, we ganging up? I guess I want to kill the sleeper pretty bad. Eventually, that thing has to be dealt with anyway. Might as well do it now. The memory of Toshiro, that can hang out for a long time without being too scary. There we go. Opponent going for the plus ones. Yeah, you can have a card. Playing the long game. Obliterator returns. We'll draw. Just got to find the removal spells and we shouldn't have any issues. Just got to be patient.
just make sure this goes. It looks like they don't even have an instant, so that's a really good priority check. But I'm going to. <laughs> you are not just in case. If they give it death touch, I'll cry. That would be like a weird instant. All right, opponent passing with four cards in hand. Almost assuredly, some of them are lands, but how many? How many? Show them how we greet our enemies. Take it. My goodness. I have land, don't I? Shuffler is fine. It's totally fine. My face. Okay. I think we've got a problem. <laughs> oh my lord. No. Come on. Didn't I hit... Okay, crew. Click. Submit. I guess I should think blocking thoughts. Just a few. Interesting block. Go to 11. Do I need to Wandering Emperor my own creature? It's not enough. Not yet we don't. Remember your training. Keep gaining the life from those scoured barons. It adds up. Oh my lord. How? How have we done this? And now, with a new world record in shuffler shenanigans, Covert Go Blue! We got 15 that we're looking at. 15, 16! 16! Right? Going for 17? Ah, I failed. Darn. There you go. I wonder if the opponent's hand is all land, though. Maybe I'm complaining to somebody having an even harder time of it. Oh, well. Shieldred. That was the last straw. How dare you play a black card. On the play. Trust the bank buster. It will solve all problems. But oh, we're gonna play the farm hand first. <laughs> you gotta hide it, you know? If they just blow it up and you don't draw any cards, you failed. Not the bank buster. Oh, ah, uh-huh, okay, I see you. Let's get married. To combat. Ooh, we get combat. Cut down. I cannot save you. Heartbreaking. But we get a card. Cards are great. We could go for Emperor now, but it gives the opponent a turn to do something about it. But what if they run counter magic? They seem a very slow plotting deck. Let's do it. This also creates the chance that we draw a card again if the opponent doesn't play a removal spell. And they definitely seem more like classic blue-white. Jace, okay. Okay. Jason Bankbuster. So I tried the Jason Bankbuster combination. Was not a fan. It's 
So no value from their Jace. You love that. Let's use a counter. Because the opponent could Wrath here. So we want to keep some loyalty on our Wandering Emperor. Hit our land drop and drop a Busta. And hope they... They can't fare well at this turn. So hopefully we get a turn of Bank Buster card draw bliss before they blow everything up. Tap land go. Yep. Um... Bankbuster Bliss is certainly on the menu. I have got new moves to teach you. Uh -huh. I'm not overconfident. Uh -huh. You're just underwhelmed. This is what you get for hurting my people. Might be playing into a farewell. It's totally possible. But they did Wandering Emperor and remove one of the creatures. If they were going to farewell, I think there's a chance they would have just played Emperor and plussed it. Strike fast and strike hard. Or they just have a tap land. Dude, every turn that goes by, Bankbuster Bliss is in full effect. You know, Kaya could try to come down. Let's see if we can draw some uh, removal from our opponent here. Keep watch for intruders. You know what? If the opponent removes this and I get to play Kaya, I'm happy. We played around a counter spell before. We haven't given them good counter spell opportunities. Okay, so I think we pass here, we draw with Busters, they cast Farewell, then we play Kaya. As long as Kaya doesn't get countered, I think we'll win the game. Or they could just run away. Well, two of your seven drops in the opener is not ideal, but at least we can't be accused of playing a game without Kaya. So let's go for it. <laughs> Plus we start on 21 life. What's more broken than that? Make disappear test. Yep. Just another portal reanimation strategy. One with the multiverse is down there. Should be very good against us. We, we have to curve out really well to not get blown out by their turn five play. Soul partition might be good. Depends what they get. So against this deck, I don't think we flash the Wandering Emperor in here. I think we wait till their turn. They're much more likely to raw on a Brotherhood's End and a Depopulate than they are to play a Negate. We also need to draw off the Wedding Announcement pretty bad next turn because we need to keep the land coming. Orkaya is not coming down. It's going to have some best of one problems. Uh-huh. There she goes. Resolves. I hope you're ready to lose. We must protect. Yay, land drop. <laughs> Gotta go pretty wide if you're gonna get out around the portal to Phyrexia. Guards, to me. 
Okay, Lauren. So, reminder, XL target creature or enchantment. If it wasn't an aura, create a 1-1 one, one token that's a copy of it. That could be really fun with one with the multiverse. All right, opponent, it's time to do the thing. Don't miss your chance. They missed their chance. <laughs> of course, they're just going through their whole deck with Faithful Mending and gaining a ton of life. So they're, they're fine. This is fine. Land drops continuing. We're getting close. Remember your training. Guys, do you like watching Faithful Mending Resolve? Have I got a video for you. Atroxa! Woo! It's good to know that Atroxa's there. T okay! <laughs> how, how many? This is number three that they've completely done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm. 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 Opponent really trying to drag this out. I think we test what they're made of. I'm sure they just have nothing good in their hand, right? Oh, nasty. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I had him. Uh, I had him. If I replay Wandering Emperor, make a creature a three-three, and then use a plus. Okay. Down to four. Do we hold up partition and edict? I think we do. Opponent, you gotta do something. You can't just cast Faithful Mending for the whole game. The sad part is we're really close to just dropping Akaya and draining him out. Still could happen, I guess. Let's see how this turn goes. Uh-huh. They get a free spell. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? The portal. The portal. So they're still taking four right now. But maybe they plan to sack the portal to a surge? Maybe just having four creatures was always too much. Two cards left. Obviously Kaya is busted. Pew, 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 pew. I never didn't have it, I guess. Opponent goes first, but hopefully some removal will help us out. Turn one duress. Take the Kaya. Take the seven drop. <laughs> when your duress allows you to literally hit my whole hand, it must be nice. Right into Bankbuster. Try again. Liliana. Happy to help. 
But I'm taking the credit when we win. Drop it. Might all be a plot to make their Sheldred hard to kill? But we try. What did they discard? Swamp. So they have plenty of land. Obliterator? I'll have to find a way around it. Might as well start drawing with a buster to try to f solve the problem. Uh-huh. You gonna leave me with my seven drop? Nope. <laughs> Scared, are ya? Wow. Enough with the mysteries. I've come Let's see what we hit. Okay. All right. Something to crew Busta? No such luck. Dear deck, I would love to draw something that helps with board. Can you do? Can you maybe do that? Probably should have played the other Buster so I could use Buster, crew, and attack next turn, huh? Eleven? I mean, I don't know what they were tanking for. That play seems really obvious to me. That's a good draw. You're gonna miss that swamp. If they minus here, they lose Liliana. Okay then. Can't play it for them, guys. Oh, I've always hated crowds. Eddie! Oh my gosh, I'd forgotten you were in here. It's so good to see you, my dude. It's a good matchup for Eddie, too. Fine. I'll take my zombies and leave. <laughs> Why wouldn't I draw the third one? Play your obliterator. Let's go. Come on. Bring it out. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Really? You're hiding from me? There's nowhere to hide from Kaya, the intangible slayer. They didn't even crew. <laughs> yeah! That's why she's good. Opponent goes first, but we've got some cards that will hopefully keep them from completely destroying us. And we got Eddie, who missed, I don't know, missed the first half of the video somehow. And is now back. See what the opponent does with this turn. Is it Rafine? It is Rafine. Slow down, Denny. Sphinx down. Dahlia, Danny, Eddie, hey, what's up guys? Grandpa Vampire back in the house, happy to be here on the CGB channel, just reminding everybody that I exist. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Give it to him. Love that. I'm home. I have got new moves to teach you. I do lose my emperor. It it hurts a little bit, but we'll take it. Hmm. Watch out! I never years of training for this. What else you got? Eh? Gix! Okay. That's a card. How aggressive can I be here? How aggressive should I be? I think the opponent really wants to be aggressive, right? They're probably gonna attack me. If I play Bankbuster, cut something down, that's not going to stop them. But... I want to see how they try to get the way through this Edgar. So I'm just going to pass and see what they do. Come get some. <laughs> Opponent confused. All right, they're holding up mana. I think we cut down their Thalia. If they want to use their mana to sack one of their only four lands, that is fine by me. They want to counter this, whatever. But I think the Wandering Emperor has them a little locked in place, and it could still lead to a bigger blowout. Oh, they stone rain themselves for Thalia. Wow. I didn't I didn't think that was gonna happen, but here we are. Alright, they didn't get through the Edgar last turn. Was it because of the Emperor? Let's find out. I mean, <laughs> your mana, <laughs> don't you need lands? Because now if you just sit there, I'm going to draw. And if I draw, okay. I mean, two cards, sure. Fine with me. Tap land, Rafine. All right. Rafine deck need Rafine. Go figure. I think they're going to try to come at me with the Rafine. I'm just curious if they also are going to run counter spells and Thalia in the same deck and be willing to blow up their own land to protect Thalia. We also got to keep in mind that they're probably willing to sack this plaza since they were willing to give up the last one. Uh-huh. Well, it's interesting because it takes away the ability to use the plaza this turn. Okay. They are Magic the Gathering. No plays. Let's have them sacrifice a creature. Well, let's draw first. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. Still don't think I want to kill the Thalia too much. I think we just take down the Rafine, right? Before it's protected. Resto Iganjo. Four mana, another planes. Draw with Buster. Make a critter. I mean, this is just better. There's my treasure. Here's my Buster. Pass. Interesting game, man. Interesting game. To lose. That is okay. Not too bad. Discard other Thalia, sure. Still gotta deal with Eddie. Eddie's been a house in this game, right? Raven Man. All right. Um, they must have drawn that or the land because you'd love to Raven Man and to lose. 
No attacks. Okay. Oh, it's at the... Okay, since they discard a card this turn, it still checks and triggers. Okay. Bank Buster's still going to town. Boom. Love to draw this turn, but it's possible I should just be using the wedding announcement instead. Go wide. Also possible I should get Resto going. Resto e Ganjo. The sooner it flips, the better off we are. The problem with it, is it does trigger... It triggers a Raven Man next turn if I use the ability, but I'm not going to use the ability anyway because of Denik. All right, let's get this going. Secret against Thalia. Thalia is much less impactful if you can hit a lot of land drops. We could hold up the Emperor, but we held it up earlier in the game and it just kind of stalemated without much happening. So they're already like playing around it. If they're going to play around it anyway, we may as well deploy some stuff. Okay, that's a very good card, and we will have to find the right answer for that. No attack from the Raven that can't block. Hold on, let me just inspect my deck for Hidden Reach. Nope. Interesting. Shieldred. Got something? Not yet. That's going to have to help offset being attacked by Ow. Because that's going to hurt. The dream team, Shieldred and Lauren together. Long, long have uh, card drawing punishment fans dreamt of this day. Rigged. Absolutely rigged. Where's my Kaya? <laughs> now is the time for Kaya. This is exactly where Kaya is so needed. No way. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Who's your daddy? Or your mommy? <sighs> take out the Ow or take out the Shieldred? Right now the Shieldred breaks even. If we take their Shieldred off the field, the Ow just attacks me, so... Come here. Join us. I think our board is good enough that Edgar can attack now. Take it? Holy cow. Come at me. <laughs> oh, -ho, opponent not chilling anymore. What gives? Ah, <laughs> uh, they backing off. They're not ready for this. They don't want none of this smoke. Or do they? Arrow? Oh my gosh, let's do this, baby. It's emote time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Um. Looks like fun. So, I think you are here. You get me a free 1-1. One, one. You go take down the Thalia, and you try to fight the Adeline, which will probably get deleted, right? So, Restoration of a Ganjo is a card. That is a good reason not to engage with Shieldred. Do I actually need the Lauren? I don't think so. Lauren's fine. <laughs> Next time you'll okay, they there. lose their Adeline. This looks fun. Oh, opponent. Oh god, I missed something awesome. I could have put the Ow in front of the Thalia and then with first strike damage, pumped squad. Oh. All right, next time I'm not going to miss it. This is how you learn, guys. Uh, so you're done? Could draw two cards there, but I want to be in the position to exile again as soon as possible. Nice. All right, opponent still has to start thinking about blocking. They took the hit from Edgar last turn. I don't think that was a great move. Let's test him again. Don't use the plaza. We know they know the plaza. We know they know how to use it. They used it earlier in the game. It's bizarre to see them not using it anymore. I am the emperor of Kamigawa. And I will protect my people. Don't want to use the exile into the plaza, but I do want to get more creatures going so I can just kill them next turn. <laughs> Math. Have a 1-1. One, one. Hmm. I'm not impressed. I could turn one of these into a bank buster with the restoration, but it would trigger the Raven Man, right? At the beginning of each end step. Opponent just sitting on those plazas. Decline. <laughs> Work on the vigilance creature. Remember your training. They're going to have to stop me at some point. I think the only thing here we don't want engaged at all is Shieldred. Shieldred too important. Opponent, you are taking lethal. <laughs> and then they realize it. Ah, oh, yeah. Just tick them down, tick them down. Nice job, Kaya. You showed up just when things were getting dicey.